everyone, this is King Kong Wrong. Welcome to the channel. Today, we've got a master nightmare hunt, the Fanatic. But before we get to that, I just want to remind you that if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. It'll be very much appreciated. Uh, and if you want to catch me live, I'm on twitch.tv slash kingkongwrong25. So, first off, this is not an elite gameplay video. You'll see a lot of mistakes. But viewing it after the fact, I'm hoping that the analysis helps people who are just getting started with the game or if you're like me, who just got back into Destiny after a long hiatus. Hopefully this helps you get through the hunt. Next, as you'll notice, I've got a full set of Dreambane armor, modded with four Dreambane mods for damage mitigation, and one Nightmare Banisher um, to damage the boss. Theoretically, you can get by without these, but I recommend bringing Dreambanes for your first run through. You'll also notice that the equipment is locked, so choose your loadout well. My first tip for you is that even though this is a match game, where your elemental damage should match enemy shields, prioritize bringing solar. The final boss's ads all have solar shields, and you'll need to bust them to survive. Arc and Void will get you to the boss, but solar will help you finish the hunt. Next, tip number two. Bring weapons that can bust champion shields. This has barrier and unstoppable champions, so pack accordingly and work it out with your team on who brings what. I use the Imperative Scout Rifle from Vex Offensive with Unstoppable Shot and Ariana's Vow for its innate anti-barrier rounds and its solar. Additionally, use those artifact mods on your armor. Tenderizer and Breach Resonator work really well here as all the enemies are pretty much bullet sponges as you can see. There are, however, ways to temporarily increase your buffs that I don't even realize until after the hunt. So, tip number three. See those red orbs that sometimes drop? Those give the Unstable Essence buff, which gives you a damage buff against nightmare enemies for 15 seconds. Note that the buff is only good against adds and not the boss. Tip number four, pay attention to the status effect on the left hand side of your screen. It's called drifting apart and reunited. I don't know the specifics of these statuses, but it's reasonable to assume that drifting apart is some sort of debuff when you're too far away from your teammates, while reunited either restores you to normal or provides you with some other sort of buff. Either way, stay close to your team. Tip number five. This has narrow hallways, so do your best to open up firing lanes and do not get into each other's line of fire. This is more of a criticism for me, as I'm not going to assume my team or teammates are conscious of their spacing, uh, so it's on me to make sure I'm in an optimal firing spot, so I'm not wasting ammo and I'm contributing to DPS and ads. So yeah, th these champions hit like a truck, and if uh, and if you notice, like my my own damage isn't very high against the ogre until the uh, until the unstoppable shot procked and uh, staggered it. It was doing like 300 damage on the on the weak point, and then it was like 1300 thereafter. But notice. Um, with these knights. I'm using an anti-barrier round hand cannon, the Ariana's Vow, 
Uh, I break the shield, but unfortunately I used it on my last round, so I had to reload. In the time it took me to reload, uh, the barrier knight put its barrier up again. So uh, keep that in mind, that you have to have constant constant damage going down on, uh, on these enemies. You might also want to spec in some sort of um, weapon with uh, disruption or genesis, anything that takes advantage of uh, a shield break. So in this portion, uh, it's the Shrine of Oryx, it's the hallway um, right before the boss. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier for uh, the tip on narrow hallways and uh, lines of sight. Um, there's a ramp on the right that I, I try to utilize when I can to, to get some elevation and so that I'm not in the, in the way of my teammates. So get that high ground when you can. You know, in retrospect, as I watched this video, um, I realized I could have stayed up on that platform to, to shoot down on my, on my uh, enemies, but uh, instead, look, we got stacked in a column, so even though all three of us are focusing on an enemy, we're not all being as effective as I think we could be. It's kind of funny that that thrall came charging in and started running away. <laughs> teammate staggers it. Only for a little bit. There we go. Back again. So, yeah. Um, 300 damage without staggering. About a thousand per critical hit when staggered. So, make sure s at least somebody has unstoppable shot. And the, in this tight hallway, uh, you want to watch out for these raiders. They're kind of like cursed thralls, but like spiders. So don't just run headlong, otherwise they'll ambush you and it's a bad day. And right here is the boss room. The fanatic paid for his crimes with his life. His nightmare will pay all the same. As soon as you see the boss, tip number six is do as much damage as you can in this initial phase. But be aware that these yellow health guys um, you should be prioritizing these guys. Um, I had initially thought it was, uh, you know, you'll, uh, you'll see, there are enemies with solar shields. I thought initially that killing the solar shield guys is what would bring down uh, the fanatic shield, but it's actually these, uh, these yellow health champions. Well, I guess they're not really champions, but still, elite enemies with yellow health. Take them out, and you'll be able to do damage to the uh, to the boss. Okay. Now again, the enduring lesson of not getting in anyone's way. So my teammate goes in for the super. I do too. Unfortunately, my Nova Bomb hits my teammate in the back and thus gets wasted. That's that was a real downer. But um, watching watching it now, you know. It gives me ideas for how to improve my positioning next time. Uh, but here, in this 
corridor, uh, despite me uh, getting blasted to bits, um, those spaces are perfect for a grenade launcher, and you want to be able to use those walkways and that central room as a choke point to go dump your heavy ammo and grenades uh, to kill as many adds as possible. So yeah, that would be tip number seven. Utilize these choke points. So yeah, be mindful as well of uh, this arc field that the uh, boss puts up. As soon as you see a blue flaming haze around you, move out of the way. Because you'll know that he dropped the field right on you. And if you're in there when he triggers it, it's going to be... Uh, I mean, if it doesn't kill you in, in, in one blast, uh, the second blast will get you. Thankfully, um, we didn't all wipe, but uh, it, it gets kind of hairy from here on it. One thing to note is, like, when I, even though I'm dead, I'm trying to look around the battlefield and look at where enemies are. Uh, I'm trying to call out to my team, um, but unfortunately, when I respawn, um, I didn't notice at the time, but I respawn right in front. Of so many, oh. so many enemies at once. Oh, neat. Actually, I was kind of so surprised that um, it took me like a couple seconds to get my bearings. So yeah, that spot right there isn't the best spot, but it's it's not bad either. I was able to get off some uh, some decent damage uh, from here. Up until the boss realized that I was shooting at him. <laughs> Right here was a, almost a bad mistake. The last Guardian standing, I try to rush in to help my teammate, but I realize, oh no, I would have been one shot right there. So I decide to just wait. I know it's not, you know, the flashiest thing to do. Definitely not elite gameplay, so to speak. But it's a safe tactic in the situation. Uh, I'd rather wait it out than uh, get all wiped and have to start all over again. So here uh, was another bad decision on my end. Uh, I was waiting to get back into that central portion between the pillars to, to shoot against the, the boss, but um, I got distracted, um, and before I knew it, it took fire from four sources simultaneously, and that was just too much. Which is a shame, because uh, my super was uh, just about ready to go. Thankfully my team was uh, holding its own, holding their own rather, against uh, these ads. Okay, here I am trying to clear the way so I can uh, pop off a Nova Bomb. I figured I'd get rid of these guys first, but no. The best I could do was uh, blow up their shields, which, you know, was helpful to my team here, uh, but unfortunately, uh, again, poor decision. I should have just chucked that Nova Bomb 
I went ahead to chance. Yeah. Nevertheless, while regrettable, um, my team did end up clutching that win, uh, even though I died at the end. But yeah, that's that. It's a pretty straightforward hunt. No complicated mechanics to speak of. Just be, wa just be wary and aware of the damage phases, and uh, you should be fine. So I hope this helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you want more Destiny content, please consider subscribing. And again, I'm on Twitch, uh, streaming Destiny, uh, currently every Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully I'll see you there. Otherwise, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.